the horse meat scandal sweeps across Europe, members of the European Parliament held an exchange of views with the European Commissioner for Health. And I'm joined now by EPP Group spokesperson on food security, Mr. Richard Zeber. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, you've just finished the meeting in which the Commission said this is not a food safety issue. We have the best food safety in the world. The legislation is there, but it's a case of fraudulent labelling. And we need to toughen the rules and implementation of better traceability. Do you agree with this? And what type of meat origin labelling would you like to see in the future? I agree with the Commissioner when he said we have the best food safety in Europe and we have a very good system of food labelling already in place. But nevertheless, it is a scandal and I think we should say as well it's a food safety scandal in the sense then, uh, that the consumers lost a lot of confidence. And that is an economic problem uh, in the long run and as well a problem is used for gaining this confidence uh, to in the consumers. So I think after analysing properly the situation, I think it would be uh, very good for the Commission to come forward with the right proposal, for example, uh, labelling of origin for meat products and of the slaughtering of the meat. And as well, I think we have to look at uh, traceability and on the random systems. And I think here should the Commission as well propose a mathematically checked system to avoid such scandals. What role should Europe and the Member States play in general in improving food security and protecting the consumer? we have to impose uh, and to make the rules on the European level together with European Parliament and Member States and then of course uh, saying how many and what Member States have really to control. And I think it should be not an excuse uh, saying you see it's them to do it, so actually it's us here uh, with them to give the right rules. Indeed, the Commission has already put plans in motion by launching a system of inspections. This is being co-financed by the Commission to the tune of 75%. It will start tomorrow, some have started even earlier. Um, the sampling testing, random testing, will be divided according to member states depending on the size of the population, but also on the number of horse meat uh, produced. And then the results will be published in April. I hope that we will continue this testing even for a further two months, but that would depend on the cooperation of the Member States. And what other measures does the Commission have in mind to ensure food security and to protect the consumer? Yes, they would depend on the result of, this, of these uh, inspections, but we are preparing a new package which had been prepared uh, and is in the pipeline uh, months before this incident relating to animal health, plant health and official control.